Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are going to build a floating entertainment system that is going to be mounted directly below our sound bar that is directly below our TV. Let's get started. So this is what our entertainment system looks like right now. Not that presentable, not that pretty, not that organized. So let's do it. Step one, open the box, grab the instructions, become familiar with those. At this point I got everything separated. Locate your hardware. What I did was take a cardboard piece from the actual box, lay it on the table, and organize all the parts. This is the hardware chart that you will reference for the actual part and number throughout the entire instructions. Step one, grab board G and four of the part number 435 screws and make sure that board G is aligned properly like in the picture you can see this little indent here and make sure that you screw all four of these in the proper holes. Part number 435 looks like that so let's go to our parts here and grab four of these. I've got the parts inserted in the correct slots and notice that the actual tip, this is not a flathead screw tip nor a Phillips screw tip. These are just pressed in the slots by hand. On to step two. We need to get four of part 411. Here's part number 411. All four parts are installed in the proper holes as referenced in step two. And now it's time to tap them in place carefully with a hammer. All four are properly tapped in. Step three, grab board H, H1 and H2, position them properly and take a very close look at H2 where the holes are set. Notice that the larger hole in H2 is offset from the smaller ones. However, in H1 and H, they are all in line. So that's exactly how I have these boards positioned. Now let's grab the proper hardware. Six of these and six of those. Take a close look at where each part goes into the board and repeat these steps all three times. Board number one I've got completed. The two upper parts are installed as well as the two lower wooden dowels. Off to the second two. Step four, align all four boards as shown. Go grab six of the part number 160 screws. Part 160 has the flat head as opposed to the round head. The round head is part 116. Back to our parts and we will grab six of these flat tip screws. Again, reference the image and properly set the boards and hardware correctly. At that point, secure all boards together. Making progress. Step four is complete. On to step five. Let's grab the proper boards and hardware and start putting that together. Grab the proper board, properly positioned it exactly the way it is in the image. Now let's grab the hardware. Eight of part number 158, one of 262. And with these eight parts, we will reference the image and properly insert them in the proper holes and press down. We'll complete that step eight times. And with these parts, it's very important to point out that arrow right there. That arrow must be pointing toward the hole. Now it wants us to flip the board over and insert part number 262. Step six, taking both the boards that you've already worked on, position them properly as they are in this image, and secure them with the four parts we just installed on this part. Step seven, grab two of the part 160, insert them in the proper holes and secure those. On to step eight, grab boards OD, and there are two of them. And it's also important to point out that each board has the proper letter that it is on the actual piece. The image is actually swapped from step seven and that's exactly what we did. Now it's time to secure both these parts on those two little prongs there that we installed earlier in those holes. Step nine, grab board A as we have here, position it properly like the image and in the instructions and grab 10 of the part four, three, fives. Continue that until you have all 10 of these parts properly installed. And it should look like this with all holes filled except the top two left holes as well as the top two right holes. Step 10, grab four of part 411. 
Insert them in the four remaining holes and tap them into place with a hammer. Step 11, previous board that we worked on and completed is in position matching the image. And we are going to grab that top piece that we literally just worked on, insert it in the proper holes and secure it with the proper screws. Just like that, now let's reference every single screw and tighten all of them down. Also in step 11 is part 171. Let's go ahead and grab six of those. And the purpose of these is to cover up all those visible screws. So instead of looking like that, they will be covered and they will look like that, a lot more presentable. After completing step 11, step 12, let's go ahead and grab 8 of part 99 and 4 of part 852. Position the part properly like the image and notice the grooves on that part 852. There are the grooves on that side and there is a tiny hole there. Grab the screws and properly insert them and secure them. And you'll complete this four separate times. All four parts and screws are tight and secure. Step 12 is complete. On to step 13. So far so good. We are making progress. Now it's time to take that floating entertainment system and actually mount it on your wall. And the most important part about this is you want to screw that mount into studs. Don't use cheap drywall anchors. It will never hold. At the end of this video, you will see a video. Definitely click on that. It is going to run you through the steps required to mount that floating entertainment system onto the wall into the studs. We'll see you at the next video. Do us a favor. Below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings. Turn on your YouTube notification bell because once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. Thanks again.